back in the garage, gonna pull the car out again, gonna set up, and this one's gonna be fun. Stay tuned. Welcome, welcome. Episode four, the streak continues with a college hoodie. I just realized that as I was reviewing some of the <laughs> other episodes. I've worn a couple Fresno State hoodies, I wore Art Center College of Design hoodie, and now the other college I went to, which is Allen Hancock College. And maybe this is a thing, maybe I just wear college hoodies. Uh, anyways, 111 subscribers as of today. This is awesome, like ridiculous, considering it's been about a month or less than a month since I started this whole channel. So thank you so much. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you hit that little bell, every time I release a new video, you'll get a push notification, which is really cool. And sometimes it gets annoying. So if it gets annoying, just turn off the bell, but hit the bell and we'll see how it goes. It came up with this idea, like what if sports was happening? You know, we're in a very strange time in our world, of course, but what if I had a football game tomorrow? I'm just, just let me go there. So if I had to shoot a football game tomorrow, I wanna show you all the gear that would travel with me to that pretend football game. The stuff that I bring specifically is to capture American football from the sidelines. So let's, let's pretend a little bit. Let's shoot a football game. This is, this is what I would bring. This is the cart I would set up. This is all the junk that I would bring to a football game. The hi-hat is like a mini tripod. I put it on the field with a tripod head. And so this is a Sockler Video 18 S2. The thing with tripod heads, they're pretty expensive, but you don't buy a tripod head every year. These should last you your entire career if treated well. One thing that when I do travel with it in that Pelican case, I set everything to zero on the tilt and on the pan so it kind of can sit free in the case. If you locked it all down, now there's no play, and so if it's getting bumped around, you're gonna start breaking gears, and it's not gonna be good. So when you travel, loosen everything, put it in a Pelican, in a nice padded Pelican, and you should be good. Most stadiums, collegiate or professional, do not allow tripods on the field. However, they do allow hi-hats. And so this is much smaller, a low center of gravity, if you need to bail, you can bail and no one will get hurt. I don't shoot every play with a hi-hat, um, but it does give me a little bit of flexibility and steadiness if I need it when shooting a multitude of things on the field. One of three lenses I travel with, Fujinon Cabrio XK 20 to 120 uh, zoom lens T 3.5. When you travel with a zoom lens like this, it's always been told to me, you wanna leave it wide open, you wanna be uh, as wide as you can on the zoom, and set the focus to infinity. And that's where I place the tape, just so it doesn't move. The Airy Amira, to me, the best camera to shoot sports as it sits today. Perfect for shoulder-mounted use. Image quality, superb. Again, if I had to shoot a football game tomorrow, which I am dreaming about, uh, I would use this camera. Like this viewfinder for following objects flying through the air is hands down the best viewfinder I've used to date. It's a workhorse in the documentary world. It's also a workhorse in the sports cinema world currently. I also, of course, travel with a quick release plate. You can move the shoulder pad and you can move the top handle, which is the eyepiece, in different directions. I usually unlock that, so I move the shoulder pad forward and I move the eyepiece forward to somewhere in this range. So shooting with my left eye usually posed a problem with some of the film cameras I used to shoot with. I can slide this in for a right-eyed shooter or I can kick this out for a left-eyed shooter like myself. My friend Brent out of Phoenix, Arizona makes these ninja armor pieces and it does a great job of protecting the camera. It also adds a lot of quarter 20 holes. Whoops. Another thing I love about Ninja Armor, go support Brent, are these little removable wings where I, we could put the time code box on and get it out of my way, right? So the second lens I travel with, Duclos takes the Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter lens, which is a photo lens. They put a PL mount on it 
they put these cinema gears on it so you can add follow focus units or motorized gears. It's just a killer lens. A lot of cool things can be done with, with a wide angle for sports cinematography. Uh, and this is just a really great lens. Another eBay find for me. Camraid, great company, great rain gear for the area mirror. If you shoot in Seattle, you're gonna need one of these. Tenba, another company I've met at NAB. I'm not gonna go over everything, but the big things I use is this Allen tool kit. A CFast 2 card reader from Angelbird, which is a great card reader company and storage company. CFast 2.0 cards go in this case. Got an extra eye chamois, extra sensor swabs. I keep a sensor brush. You hang out with enough audio guys, you're gonna have a ton of these ties sitting in your case. Always gotta have a flathead screwdriver in your kit. Zakudo trigger grips. Aerie makes these nice, uh, relatively inexpensive uh, foam grips to hold your camera on your shoulder and they're nice and squishy. And then the one on the right, of course, has a start-stop trigger that I use every time I shoot a football game. Don't knock anything over, Dom. I don't know if you can see this, but this is a custom foam insert. I designed this myself specifically for my Amira and all of those things that I just showed you. You can make your own custom foam insert as well. Go to mycasepillar.com. They're not paying me to say this, but again, it's another great company. So the final case, case four of four, uh, houses my ENG lens and all of my power supplies. So my batteries and my charger. This is a Fujinon HA 23 by 7.6 BERM-M58. This lens was built not for an Amira. So the adapter is what makes that lens usable today. This is a B4 to PL adapter from Airy. You're taking a lens that was meant for a smaller sensor camera. You're putting this adapter on it, and now you have a lens made for football. The reason why this setup is so amazing for sports is because of the compact size and the throw of the lens, how far I can get out. You're essentially rocking, again, doing the math in my head, somewhere in the range of a 20 millimeter to 350 millimeter lens. The downside is, is that you lose about two and a quarter stops of light because of this adapter. By the way, these little zoom sticks, I mean, these are both Fujinon lenses. These zoom sticks are very hard to find. If anybody knows where to find extra zoom sticks, let me know because when you lose them, it's really hard to replace. The other technique that you're gonna use is just kind of a one-handed, so it's kind of a pinky and ring finger focus with a thumb and index finger zoom. I don't know if you can see that. I love this setup. So last thing in my case, the same case that carries my lens, is five Hypercore 9 batteries. These are 98 watt hour batteries, so they're safe to travel with of course, only in your carry-on. These get taken out of the case right before I check my bags. These go into my backpack. There's just five of them. The dual charger stays in my case um, and travels with my lens. I love this steady bag. It gives you a nice little perch on the ground to get the shots that you need. This paired with this wide angle lens is really cool. You can get some cool scenic stuff. Scene setters, I'll call them. Look at this, I've set it up all pretty now. This is gonna be a nice thumbnail. This might get some this might get some clicks. So there are a couple more lenses I wanted to show you before I said goodbye. Stay tuned, hold on. So this was my older video lens that I would shoot football with before I bought my 23 by. Uh, this is a Canon 21 by. There is some issues with this uh, focus unit. Um, it does slip a little bit when you get closer to infinity. So it's not ideal for professional sports, but this is all I had when USC played Fresno State and so some of those shots I got, I was very surprised with, even though that there are a little bit of focusing issues. And now that I have a 23 by, I won't be using this one much, but yeah, I really, I like this 21 by. By the way, used, 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 new. It's hard to buy batteries used. You really don't want to do that. Um, new, be smart when you purchase some of this equipment. You can get really good deals on used equipment, but make sure you're getting some good equipment. Behemoth, dun, 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 dun. dramatic music. As it states on the nameplate there, it is a Canon FD 400 millimeter 2.8. 
This was designed as a photo lens. I'm sure you know what a Canon EF mount is. Well, the FD mount was its predecessor. But this lens is amazing because it's a 400 millimeter prime 2.8. And so what people were doing in the late 80s and early 90s was taking that FD mount, removing it, and putting on a PL mount. This lens I purchased off a legend in the sports cinematography world. His name is Mark Allen. He shoots out of the Bay Area. Typically when someone shoots with this lens, they're on a tripod and they're in one of the end zones shooting football. I took it a step further at a Fresno State game recently where I not only put this on my Amira on a hi-hat, so now you're getting a low angle 400 millimeter vantage point, um, but I picked up an optical two times extender that goes on the 400 millimeter to make it a 800 millimeter lens. The window that you have at a 400 millimeter is not that much and when you throw an 800 millimeter lens on a football field, you are, depending on where the action is, if it's close to you, good luck. To me, it's just, it's just it's a challenge, right? And so it's exciting to try new things. It's, it's exciting to see if you can capture and follow action when you're in such a tight window. Mark sold me this lens a couple years ago, and of course I don't use it every day, but man, when I do use it, it's, it's like Christmas morning. It's very fun to use. Well, I think that's all of the gear <laughs> that I could scrounge up to shoot this episode. It really gets me excited to pull a lot of this gear out because it reminds me of football season, and again, we all miss sports. So if you have any more questions about any of this gear or any questions for me, again, drop it down below into the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for clicking the little bell. With that, I'm Dom. This is my garage. I'll see you next week, maybe.